We want to reset our relationship. Here she is, just in office, 2009, setting a new tone, a reset with Russia. The reset button with Russia was specifically about saying, look, we don't have to have conflictual relationships. It would symbolize her next four years in office, trying to change global attitudes to the United States. Fast forward two years and it starts to sound like same old, same old. Secretary Clinton accuses Russia of fraudulent elections. The success of keeping the, the Russians uh, on side, even to a degree in Libya and even in Syria, is a, a testament to her skill. Hillary Clinton's skill, a secretary who can walk softly but carry a big stick. Replicated the world over. Almost a million miles traveled, making a difference just by being in so many places. And America's presence, its ability to lead by example, its character, its positive message of hope, has been spread much more evenly throughout the world. That, I think, has been one of her most important achievements. When you look at the world map, you can see where the secretary has been putting most of her energies. In Asia, to offset China's growing dominance. In Africa, both developing regions, both regions open to U.S. ideas, particularly the Secretary's initiative to empower women. But the Middle East, that's an entirely different picture. Here in Syria, people tell me they're angry the United States isn't doing enough to support the rebels. And in Libya, people tell me they're, they're angry the United States isn't doing enough to help rebuild the country. And in Egypt here, I hear from some people saying that they're angry the United States supported the Arab Spring uprising, and others tell me they're angry the United States' support came a little late. And in Israel here, little that Secretary Clinton has done to advance Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. And when you look at the Middle East in general, well, the United States has always been a lightning rod for discontent and pretty much still is. It's not the achievements, it's the lack of failures. And that may turn out to be the most important element. And in the world of foreign policy, that's high praise. Nick Robertson, CNN, London.